All right, so in this example, I'll be showing you how to send a text message every time someone completes a survey using Fluid Surveys with a little help from Zapier. So if you check out Zapier's many services they have available, scrolling to the bottom here, clicking Service Directory, you can see that Fluid Surveys is not available because it'd be right here as this is in alphabetical order. So we're going to be hacking our own little integration using webhooks. So let's go ahead and go back to the Zapier main page. And so you want to start by setting up a survey on Fluid Surveys. And I've already gone ahead and set one up, which you can see here. It's just a simple employee satisfaction survey. Rate your overall satisfaction with your manager. And so now back on Zapier, we need to go ahead and set up this new Zap or integration. So go ahead and drag the web hooks icon up to the trigger side and you want to do catch hook. So essentially with this option, Zapier will receive push notifications from fluid surveys every time a given event occurs. And in this case, that given event is going to be a survey completion. And for the other side of the expression, the action, you really have an unlimited amount of choices as you can choose to integrate with many of the web services already on Zapier or even use another webhook to push data somewhere else. So in this case, I'd like to receive a text message. So I'm going to select phone, send SMS. Create the zap. And so I'm going to go ahead and select my phone. And if you need to add your phone number in, all you have to do is just click this button here, add your phone account. And then on the left side of the page here, go ahead and copy this URL here. And then when you scroll to the bottom, if you're familiar with how Zapier works, there's usually a bunch of fields here that you can play around with. And obviously it's blank this time, which I'll explain why that is just in a minute. Let's go ahead and scroll back up and then click the dashboard. We'll finish this customization shortly. So back on the main admin page on fluid surveys for the survey, click this drop down arrow right by publish, click settings, and then click other options. And then for this webhook URL, go ahead and paste in that URL that you copied from Zapier. And then click save your changes. And so now we want to go ahead and set off that trigger by completing a survey. So go up to the survey. I am extremely satisfied with my manager, so click submit. And now head on back to Zapier. Scroll down, find this un the unfinished app here. Click edit. And now you will see that there are a number of different fields that you can work with. Now a lot of these are cryptic. So one way to figure them out is just trial and error. So I can try IP address and scroll down and then click here to load the samples. And so these samples came from that first survey that I did. So let me erase IP address, put in language. You see language is English. So what I want to do is I want the username and that username Mike dash 7k is the username from fluid surveys Mike rate you a and I want the weighted score and so the weighted score is in this case a one so let me show you how the weighted score works so this is one two three four and five so let's say I'm extremely dissatisfied. I'm going to go ahead and hit submit. Go on back to Zapier. I'm going to go ahead and reload the samples. 
and you can see that the next sample that came in is a five. And I'm gonna go ahead and add in a filter here on the weighted score. If it contains five, I'm gonna save that new filter. So basically this action of sending a text message is only going to occur if I rank my manager at five. And I'm gonna load the samples. I'm going to go ahead and just do a, a, a test here. So I'm going to click send it. I'm going to put the phone up to the microphone. And you obviously can't see it, but the text message just says Mike-7K ranked you a 1. And I'm going to go ahead and enable. And then turn it live. Okay, so let's just do a couple tests. So let's say I am satisfied. I'll do submit. There's not going to be a text message. I am somewhat dissatisfied. Still no text message. How about extremely dissatisfied? All right, I just got another message. Mike-7K is extremely dissatisfied. All right, so that's all there is to it. So webhooks can be a bit confusing at first, and I hope I eliminated some of that confusion, but they are also super cool, fun to play with, and really powerful. So in the next example, I'm gonna show you how to set up automated workflows to make your life easier. All right, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.